Well, for, for us, um, I must tell you that while thanking the, the tribunal, uh, as a law student, I do know the phrase that um, a court is not just a court of law, but a court of justice. In our petition, we did uh, ask for a rerun of the election because at that time we didn't have the required documents to enable us to um, make a proper request of we being declared the rightful uh, winner of that election. Because um, the document that we later on received from INEC indicated that more than one third of those who voted didn't have um, the PVC card, I mean PVC to, to vote. Now without you having the PVC, you are not supposed to vote. And in the judgment, the, the, the tribunal ruled that about 40,000 votes were in excess of those who were accredited. Now, don't forget that the collision of this election took place in a different location. My opponent went to the Federal High Court to ask the court to, to, to compel INEC to compel the Centura election result in Kaba. Kaba is the Centura headquarters. So I left after the election. I went to Kaba with my, um, um, my supporters my world executives and, uh, and, and, and uh, campaign uh, and, uh, coordinators, we went to Kaba to await the collation of the result. While we were waiting, after about two hours, we were told that they saw a pool of cars in a village along Lokoja um, Kaba Road at Oshokoshoko that they parked and they were uttering some documents. I said, no, that can't be possible. Because my opponent went to court and got a judgment of the Federal High Court that the collection of the results must be in Kaba. Why were we waiting in Kaba? Dino went with INEC officials, and they took the second road and went to alter the results and went to Lokoja and declared Dino as, as the winner. Now, don't forget, I told him, law student, Section 287 of the Nigeria Constitution, Subsection 3 says, the decision of Federal High Court shall be enforced in every part of the Federation by all persons and authorities, including, including subordinate court of jurisdictions. Now, tribunal is a, court, is a subordinate court of jurisdiction. Court of conduct, they are all subordinate court of jurisdiction to the Federal High Court. So when you, when you have a ruling of the Federal court, High Court, it means it is compelling you obey that court. There was no any appeal. Based on the judgment, Dino himself went to the Federal High Court to, to secure. He went there and compelled the court to rule that the collection must be in Kaba. While I was waiting in Kaba, they took the second road with INEC officials, stopped over on the highway, made these alterations. Look at it. They made all these alterations. No, 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 no. The problem is that it's almost a, a, a sin in Nigeria to be a righteous man and be in politics. Because I, I felt that once there's a court order, we must obey it. We must obey court, 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 court judgment. While we were obeying the court judgment, they now took the back road. So, so my, my submission is this. I would have thought that the court should have asked us to take over the seat without doing a rerun. Because in the first instance, yes, we, did, we didn't ask for a rerun. But based on their judgment, realizing that over 40,000 of the votes, what was the difference despite all the rigging? 15,000 votes. Now, they have established 40,000 votes in excess of those who have been accredited to vote. So even if I don't ask for the court, they will tell you court is not your father Christmas. But my submission is a court is not equally a court of law, but a court of justice. But in any case, we are not afraid to go for the rerun at all, because the people can assess the two personality. They know our antecedent. They know our track record. They know who we are and what we stand for. They know our personalities. In fact, not only the people of Kogi, where Nigerians know the two of us, OK? They know I had a track record of, of, of getting to where I am. Yeah? So it's not a question of uh, uh, being on the street and becoming a politician. No, I was not on the street. Okay, I'm, I'm proud to say I was a practicing journalist, and I was at the time two-term national president of Nigerian of journalists. So, so, so I have a track record. Okay, and, and I was in the Senate for eight years, and the people are, are there to assess my performance as to whether I met their needs or their aspirations. I think I've no doubt that I did my utmost best. So, but, but, but a system, our system is faulty to a fault that is possible for people from nowhere to now become leaders in this country. Okay, that is what is, uh, that explains the, the situation I found myself. When you are competing with somebody without a track record, any enviable track record. How come this kind of result will be approved by, 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 by INEC as, as official result of INEC? Look at all the alterations. 
More importantly, the collation was not done where it was, it was supposed to have been done. This is a man who went to court himself to ask for, for, for to ask the court to compel Anek to do collation in Kaba. Only for him to divert that same uh, uh, organization elsewhere to go and do collation. And on their way, they now did all this alteration you are seeing. Now, now, if anybody is surprised, there's no need for anybody to be surprised with this judgment. We should thank God that we still have some judges of honor, of integrity, people of proven track record. Because out of the three of them, two of them ruled in our favor. Okay? And I will quickly tell you, the judge who had a different presentation on this matter, what was his argument? He said to us that we didn't sue Dino Mela. That was Dino's uh, uh, petition to, the, to the, um, respond to our petition. That he was not Dino Melae, but that his name is Melae Daniel Dino. But by the time we got to court and we asked Einek the criteria of anybody qualifying to contest election, one of these is that you must have a task clearance. So we said, produce for us the task clearance of the candidate that you have for the election. The task clearance that Einek accepted for this election for Dino Melae bears Dino Melae, not Melae Daniel Dino. Now, now the, 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 the judge who said we didn't sue Daniel Dino, I think there's more to his judgment. And I put it to that judge that he must explain to Nigerians if we didn't convince, if, the, if, if there was no um, uh, submission on the fact that Daniel Dino Melae is the same Dino Melae, Melae Daniel Dino, is Daniel is Dino Melae, because the task clearance of Dino, and even copies of Dino's credentials that we have, they all be at Dino Melae. But you know, in his response was that he was not Dino Melae, that his name is Melae Daniel Dino. And the chairman of the tribuna, Justice Chijoke, agreed with Dino that he was not a uh, Dino Melai, but the two other judges agreed with us because this, the, 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 the task planners of Dino, Bias Dino Melai, his official document in NINEC, I mean in, uh, in National Assembly, Bias Dino Melai, apart from the fact that we had 40,000 votes in excess that were not accredited, and he won with just 15,000 votes. So if you minus 40,000 from the so-called 85,000 he's claiming he had, it means he's far, far lower than my, 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 my own vote. Okay? So I, I, I think in summary, um, we, we are looking forward to, to, to meeting him in, court of, in the Court of Appeal. And we are going to probably go into cross, cross uh, appeal to say that um, based on the submission of, of, the, of the tribunal, that 40, over 40,000 of the votes were in excess, then we should be declared. We, even if we didn't ask for it, the court is not just a court of law, but a court of justice. A court of justice, because we have been cheated, we have been robbed. I obeyed a court order. We didn't know himself, God from the Federal High Court. I obeyed the court order. If Dino, if I had won the election, and the coalition was in, in Lokoja, not Kaba, Dino would have gone to court, that the coalition was not done at the appropriate place. It's like you talk about the presidential election, and you say they should not collate the result in, 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 uh, in, in Abuja, that they should take the result to, 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 to Suleja, for instance. It is totally wrong. In between, they manipulated the results. And that explains all this alteration you have seen. So, so I have to explain this so that people don't have a misgiving about, about, about this judgment. In fact, if anything else to the contrary, that would have been terrible for our country. Because there was a court judgment, a valid court judgment. There was no appeal about that judgment that the coalition must be at the central headquarters. And that is what is obtainable in every part of this country. You cannot conduct a primary, a, a local government election for chairmanship, and you go and collate on that local government. It must be within that, that political entity. The political entity is where you have your, your jurisdiction uh, uh, begins and ends. So you cannot finish election, and you now take it to the state capital from the central district. And we have Kaba at the central headquarters. Okay, so, so, so in summary, we have more than enough reasons. Don't forget to, part of the reasons why these judges uh, have, uh, um, uh, gave, gave us uh, uh, the, the, the judgment was that there were extreme mutilations of result. These mutilations of result are so glaring. They are visible. There are things that you can see that actually a lot of mutilation took place. Alterations, look, these are alterations. These are alterations in the result. Mutilated the results. And nobody explained to us why this mutilation took place. But I can tell you, these mutilations were done between Kaba and Lokoja Highway. And I was surprised that INEC accepted this as valid document. 
this is not tenable in any civilized society, in any, in any, in any gathering of educated people. You don't make alterations without uh, endorsing them and giving reason. There was no reason. Some of the results were not even stamped. And yet, they, are, they announced the results. And once the result is announced, and don't forget, look, let me quickly tell you one of the fundamental problems of this election. The election took place on the 23rd of February. But the result I have here is 25th of February. Look at it. It's data 25th. Why was it data 25th? Because at the time they announced the result, there was no result at all. So it took them about two days to perfect this document. That was why they dated the 25th. So the result of the election that was on 23rd was dated 25th. It was not an error. It was God who, God who wants to mess them up and expose the fraud, the maladministration of these elections.